I'm here with Brian and Pamela Lake, and when I say they are blessed, it doesn't matter what I say, it matters what you think. And I'm going to tell you something, as you get to know their family, uh, Brian, why did you decide that you'd have your whole family operate in the supernatural rather than you just go off and let them be homeschooled and like a lot of other people? Well, for one thing is that I want to be with my family and for me to leave my family behind, I just didn't want to do that. So it was easier for me to take my family with me and then train them up because it's my heart to train people up, equip people uh, into the ministry, into the giftings that God's called them into. Uh, Melanie, are you trying to help your dad with that microphone? How old are you? Four years old. Yeah. Well, Pamela, I'm, I'm very intrigued by your gift. You have an ability to put your hand on someone and feel their hurts. Do you, you know, when Jesus prayed for people, he had compassion. Tell me what goes on inside of you, or give me an exact case of someone you've prayed for. Yeah, I just, a lot of times I, even though on the outside they just seem like they're happier or whatever, and then whenever I lay hands on them, I can just feel their sadness or I can feel what they're feeling inside. And it's happened many, many times, and then I'll just pray for them, and then they'll just start feeling the presence of God, and they'll they'll just get healed they feel like it they're melting all that stuff away. Well, I feel the presence of God just as you're speaking uh, and you know what God just told me someone's neck was just healed and someone's back was just healed and in the head area there's it's the sinuses are opening up I, just as you were speaking yeah. it was like the presence of God came out of you tell me one actual person you prayed for and what happened um, we actually went to New York not too long ago and there was a lady and she had a, a little little boy and we actually prayed for I actually prayed for him and I could feel the the anoint I mean the presence and whenever I prayed for him he had failure to thrive and just I could feel the presence going into him and then whenever whenever that happened he just instantly got healed and the mom called me later on and the baby's like grown and he's 22 pounds and real chunky he's got big old legs and chunky cheeks and everything so God just healed him that's such a wonderful gift and uh, Jordan you amaze me you just you're almost like a machine gun with words of knowledge how long has that been going on with you as long as I can remember really like how old were you when it started would you can you remember like what uh, Brian when he was two did he do that what do you think well he was praying for people when he was two years old he would run up and lay hands on people and you know in the name of Jesus and and even you know when he was four years old he was beginning to get words of knowledge and Jordan, uh, you like to pray the fire of God on people. Uh, explain that to me. Well, pretty much um, they get touched. And whenever I say fire, um, people get delivered, people get set free, and pretty much just radically touched. The presence of God comes on them and their yeah. lives get changed. Well, I'll tell you what, rather than you describe it, let's see a clip of, of uh, Jordan praying the fire of God. I just pray for the fire to be so strong in this place tonight. I command this place to be on fire for you tonight in the name of Jesus. I believe the fire, fire, fire. And Molly, you move in gifts of healing. Tell me about that time that everyone could smell perfume when you prayed. Well, actually, I pray for a nice lady who had an ear problem, and she came back to me, and she said that she was healed, and then after I prayed for her, she could smell the aroma of God. It's, I, that, that's such an amazing thing to me. Uh, you work in what's called words of knowledge also. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look at a clip of Molly praying for someone right now. I think God was telling me that you like to dance. I just see God like releasing it even more on you and he's gonna get you, get you to teach other people how to dance and I see you like going in ministry like t dancing and stuff. It's really awesome. Thank you. I'll just pray for you. Uh, 
Molly, how old are you? I'm 12 years old. And do you really enjoy praying for the sick? I enjoy it a lot. I, I, I think that's the strongest gift from what I understand that operates through you. Mm -hmm. Tell me one more person that was healed that you prayed for. Actually, one time this lady was battling cancer. And after the meeting, I prayed for her and stuff. And about a couple weeks later, she called back and she said that she went to the doctors and she found out that she doesn't have no more cancer and she's totally healed. That is so wonderful. Jordan, can I put a demand on your gift? And can you look in the camera and pray for whatever God tells you right now? Right now, arthritis, be healed right now in the name of Jesus. Diabetes, be healed right now in the name of Jesus. Asthma, be healed right now. Someone with a um, pain in their left shoulder, be healed right now in the name of Jesus. Neck pain, be healed right now in the name of Jesus. Back pain, be healed right now in the name of Jesus. Molly, uh, has God shown you anything right now? Actually, I see someone with um, a shoulder also that has like damaged or something in work, and I just command healing over you, Lord Jesus. And I see someone with a head, like, I think you have a head damage in your, and I just command complete healing. And I see someone else with a tumor, and we just command healing in Jesus' name. Is God showing anyone else anything right now? Yeah, there's somebody that has cancer. I knew it was you. <laughs> <laughs> there's a lady that has cancer. You've been battling this cancer for some time. And there's actually, I don't know if it's the same word Molly had, but there's lumps that you have that God is restoring. Even as we talk right now, those those their lumps are dissolving right now in the name of Jesus. There's also somebody that has, their leg is actually shorter than the other, about a half an inch to an inch shorter. God's actually going to grow that leg out. Just stand up right now where you're at because it's growing right now. Have somebody check it right now. And everything you're watching right now comes out of one thing. Brian, what does it come out of? Intimacy with, with the Lord. Give me some nugget about intimacy with God. Sure. When we get born again, you know, it's more than just being born again. It's about the responsibility that comes with the relationship with Jesus. And just like with my wife, when I first met her and married her, you know, I, I didn't just marry her. It took years for me to get to know who she is, what she likes, what she doesn't like, you know, her favorite colors, their favorite foods, all those things. When we get born again and accept Jesus into our heart, we got to find out what the king likes. You know, what's his favorite color? You know, what's he loved you? You know, what grieves him? What makes him sad? What makes him happy? And you spend those years getting to know him out of that secret place, fellowshipping with him. You know, it's really interesting as, as either you or your wife speaks, the presence of God from intimacy with him just kind of pours out. And as it pours out, I hear that God is healing people. I hear that someone with a neck pain, if you'll just move your head just like that, do that right now, you'll see the pain is gone. Someone with a backache, if you'll just go like this, you'll see that pain is gone. And someone in your whole head area, there's the migraine is gone, Any anything that you need. It's, any members of the family hearing anything from God? I, I was just hearing like depression that there's there's people out there that are suffering with depression and I just command it to leave right now in Jesus name that depression to leave right now and Molly what are you hearing I hear right now that someone either knocked their shoulder out of place and we just command it to be healed in Jesus name and you know this month is the Jewish festival of Purim and in Purim we read from the book of Esther the Megillah and we find two main things the first main thing that we find is extraordinary favor uncommon favor that Esther who should not have any favor she was uh, not supposed to be queen of the land there was a whole rearrangement done she has such favor with the king and I, I believe, Brian, that you can pray for people to have favor with the king right now, and especially for their finances to increase, would you? Sure, absolutely. Lord, we just release right now an uncommon favor over the people that's listening right now because I believe as the favor comes upon their life, it comes with an assignment. So it's just not favor just to be upon our life, but it's favor for the assignment on your life. And I believe as you get that favor, be grateful for it. I mean, it'll, it'll radically change your life, but be grateful for it.